Okay, I don't mean to I don't mean to break the the the, the interrogation, but about those Shepherd VIs. One other thing. That Shepherd VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard look, you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. I want one of my own. Dude, that's pretty awesome. Having my own VI? That's almost that's even better than having my own action figure. You hook me up, bro. Hook me up, buddy. Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Volus who are patching it all the time. Mm. All right, now that, now that I've gotten the important stuff out of the way... Tell me about Kelly. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. Thanks for the tip. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. Good luck, Mouse. You're a good guy. I like you. You all right there, buddy? That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead-end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. Mm. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Well, Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. Aww. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Oh. Knock off the mopey. No. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. Yeah. I don't get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game. I mean, yeah, that's why people like to play games like, you know, um, Grand Theft Auto. So it's it's a game. It's just pretend. Are you guys still talking about fish? This is depressing. <laughs> How about we find a terrain and beat the crap out of it? That always makes you feel better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes? Um... Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. What? Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the C-Sec charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. What? He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. Oh, okay. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. All right. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. There he is. We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI set to page him if c -Sec gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. Okay. Thank you, sir. 
We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Um... I plan to improvise. No plan survives contact with the enemy anyway. I suppose that's true. I won't interfere then. This will be difficult. If we're too gentle with him, his advocate will get past Bailey. If we're too rough, well, we need him alive. One way or the other, he'll tell us what we need to know. He's... I wish I felt your confidence. Shepard's been feeling really Get me out of these upset. restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. What the hell are you two? I'm thinking Clive's going to want to play bad cop just because he's feeling really, really awful right now. You ordered a hit on someone. You're going to tell me who. The only person I'm talking to is my advocate. Here's how it works. I ask a question, you answer the question. You speak when you're spoken to. Who the fuck you think you are? Mr. Kellum, I don't believe you were paying attention. <laughs> nice. You just handed me your job. Hit me again and I'll take your money, too. I'm gonna straighten you out as soon as Bailey gets here. Just tell us what we need to know. My associate isn't very patient. What are you, frog boy? His little sidekick? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Come on, hit me. I dare you. I'm not gonna hit you when you... No, huh? Didn't think you had the balls. No, I'm just not gonna hit you when you're expecting it. What's the... What, like, what... How... That's not very effective. You know, Clive's gonna hit you when you're not expecting it, not when you're asking for it. Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. You don't have a reason to disbelieve either. This isn't working, Shepard. We're making no progress. Hmm. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. All right, all right. Fucking quit it. Ain't worth this. Joram Talid. Turian running for office on the Zakir Award. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment, the 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... you played me! Hmm. Thanks for the info, Elias. I'm sure you'll feel better tomorrow. Better than you will, asshole. When I get my comlink back, Elias, I'm gonna... as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Mm. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. Nice. We did good, Bailey. Thanks a lot for your help. You're awesome. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? You haven't heard what the aliens have been saying? They think the Council died because our fleet refused to save them. Oh, that well. we stacked the new Council with humans and yes-men. Oh, well. Anderson does his best to be diplomatic, but they act like we're jackbooted thugs enforcing a coup. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal of Shepard. Yeah. Sergeant, that's too soon. get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Those words are too soon. Yes, sir. For me, at least. Okay. Passive classic skills improve combat capabilities, increase the rate at which you gain Paragon and Renegade points, and multiples multiplies your current point total. Nice. Nice. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. Good luck, Thane. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. 
and should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. <laughs> that was a really cool little bit. I love that. Thane, you are amazingly awesome. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. I will. And I'll do it through legal processes, not by a coup attempt. And don't forget, my friends, there are treasonous elements in our own house. The humans seize power by themselves, but they can't hold on to it without the support of the lesser races. This doesn't stop here. I won't rest until the humans have been removed from power. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. This is valuable. I'm following. Have you got him? No attempt. And don't forget, my friends, there are treasonous elements in our own house. The humans seize power by themselves, but they can't hold on to it without the support of the lesser races. This doesn't stop here. I won't rest until the humans have been removed from power. Other races wait patiently for hundreds or thousands of years to earn an embassy to the humans? No! They conveniently show up right after the Council's been killed. They surround us with warships. They dictate terms. That's not how we do things. We respect tradition. Humans think anything ten years old is obsolete. Worthless. How can they contribute to a 2,000-year-old government? Have we seen anything good since the humans moved into Zakara Ward? Hey. I like their food. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to take your word for that. I can't eat human food. But let's be serious. Since the Shinakiba Enclave opened, crime has increased. Incidents of racial tension are up 24%, despite 116 new CSEC officers assigned to the ward. Of course, most of those officers aren't Turians, or Salarians, or Asari. They're humans who turn a blind eye to the crimes of other humans. Hmm. That corruption goes all the way to the top. Don't think a human with a CSEC captain's badge is any less a crook than the thugs he deals with. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. I will. And I'll do it through legal processes, not by a coup attempt. And don't... I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Alright, so now we gotta follow I'm following. Him. I'm following him too. Okay, so... Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Which way is he going, George? Which way is he going? That way. Alright. No problem so far. better come out this way. There they are. So far, so good. Oh, it's a bunch of Hanar. Do you have the target? I've got him. Target in sight. Where are you guys going next? Okay. He just went into the store. Give me an update. I'm almost in position. He's letting the bodyguard do all the work. That lets him deny involvement. Oh, interesting. Okay. No <laughs> sign of trouble. <laughs> that Krogan's just doing whatever he what what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> okay. I see him. He hasn't moved yet. Oh, they're running across the... They're going across over here. Okay. Uh-huh. Going. 
I'm following too. There he is. Oh, they're going through there. No problem so far. What's he doing? I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. Target in sight. Oh, they're over there. I don't have a very good angle from here. He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. You're running for office. Lots of people watch you. Yes, sir. Alright, gotta stay on his trail. Going up that way. Oh, great. No sign of trouble. What the? Hey. Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? Um. Nothing bad. There's a bomb. Yeah, yeah. Clive's still, still not. <laughs> I think Clive is still, like I said, not himself. What am I doing here? What are you doing here? What? Do you have any idea how dangerous it is here? Dangerous? Get out of here, now, before it blows! Blows? What the- Run! Alright! <laughs> Plus... <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> Neither can I. I. Just stay close or we'll lose him. I know, I know, I know. That was worth it. I see him. That was that was the most the more hilarious of the two, I think. The other one is okay, but all right, he's still there. He's still hanging out there. What's going on? Oh. Hey. I saw. He's heading to the lead's apartment. Oh no. Don't do it, kid. Don't do it. Call yet. This. This is a joke. Now. Now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. c -Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? Delete. get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Dude. Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. 
I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Colyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. Aww. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Colyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? Mm. I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Thanks, Bailey. You're awesome. Thane has dealt with his son. He should be clear of any further distractions from the mission. Thane's personal matter revealed troubling issues with Citadel politics. We may have to support Elias Kelham and similar criminals to counter to counteract anti-human bias. Bailey at CSAC offers a possible recruiting opportunity. Thane power unlocked, shredder ammo increases damage to health of organic targets. Thane's new outfit, heavy pistol damage, credits, nice. That was short and sweet. Discover research projects by scanning technology found on missions. Research projects unlock powerful upgrades. Hmm. They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Bad people make a lot of enemies. It could have been anyone. No, it had to be one hell of an assassin. The best, maybe. How is he? How'd it go? How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Bailey. You're awesome, Bailey. Yes? Why did you join CSEC again? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined CSEC so I could stay in one place and put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Yeah, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with CSEC, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. Alright, I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Thank you, Bailey. All in a day's work. Interrogation room. Okie dokie. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Nice chatting with you. Okay. Let's investigate. Is there anything? No, no. I believe we have weapon upgrades. Heavy pistol damage. Squad bonus damage with the heavy pistols. All right. Morden. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? 
Later, updating crew dental records. All <laughs> Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive. Ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? See, at least when Morden dismisses me, he tends to have, like, different things to say to me, unlike Garrus. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Come on, Garrus. I don't know if Jacob has anything new to, to say to me. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. Nice. See, Jacob has in in different things to say. We'll talk later. Commander. Jacob. Cool, cool, cool. Let's continue talking to more people. What's this area of the ship? Truce quarters. I suppose we could see where some Morinth, Morinth wants. Is this the Morinth side? No, this is the Samara. This is the Samara. Kasumi side. Kasumi side. Hey. Shepard, I hope you don't mind, but I just had to get out of those clothes. Uh, okay. You've been through a lot. I'm always fine, Shepard. I learned hundreds of years ago to look out for myself. Uh, you got nothing else to say. Okay. I should go. So soon? Well, don't stay away too long. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just stay right there. Nothing new here. Don't know if Miranda has anything new to say, but we'll check. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Good, good, good. Nothing for Miranda to say to me. All right. And I don't know if there's anything... Well, life support. Thane. Thane has, probably has new things to say, is my guess. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am... I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. Uh, yeah, but... I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Lingzutat trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on a spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. Wow. That's got guts. Mad respect for her. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you. You and I trained to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? Right. I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. Wow, what a way to meet someone to meet your future wife. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. Uh, I fell on my knees before her, uh, begged her pardon. Okay. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. Wow. When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. Mm. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. Mm. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. Wow. Wow. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. 
They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. <laughs>